Yeah. Look. What's up, YouTube? Today we have a, a new unboxing. This is from Intergy, if you couldn't see it. <laughs> now, they make a lot of hop-ups, a lot of really, really good hop-ups from for almost every brand you could think of. Um, they're a really good company. They're based down there in Southern California. They also produce or they sell um, RCs. I'm sure they import them. Anyway, uh, this is the uh, IB10, which is a uh, 10 scale buggy. It's the version 2, 4x4, brushless, ready to run. Um, original price was $269.99. It was on sale for $97, guys. So let's take a look at it real quick. <clears throat> So shipping's pretty fast for me. Um, of course, I'm also in California. So pulls out sideways. Wonder if YouTube is going to flag this for uh, simply red in the background. I remember when I was bashing at um, when I was bashing at uh, the White Cross and. A Christopher Cross song came on. Sailing, they flagged me. Oh, wow. So this is the buggy. This is also sold by FTX and also VRX Racing as well. But this one seems to come with better electronics. So let's start off with uh, some of the paperwork. Cool, so we got Intigy stickers. That is really cool, a bunch of them. Intigy makes some really, really nice hop-ups, guys. Like, hop-ups for Armas, Traxxas, Losi, everything. Oh yeah, see, look, the Spirit. The Spirit, because the VRX is uh, the OEM on this. So VRX Racing makes the Spirit, and then FTX rebrands it as the, I think, Vantage, and then you get the Intigy version of it. So it's not a new buggy, it's been out since I think around 2016-15, but it was 97 bucks and it's brushless. The coolest part was the, the transmitter. The transmitter comes with a, comes with the Flysky GT3B. Crazy, I mean these used to be 50-60 bucks, you can find them for 35-40 bucks now, um, but still, you get a freaking digital transmitter nice rubber rubber wheel I mean you guys know about these these just work really well they take eight batteries I believe but you know what I don't complain about that because eight batteries last longer than four in most cases I have some um, other fly skies that take eight batteries and those just last what else we got in here got the wing Bind plug antenna, a, a longer antenna, and then I, this is for the, this is a, um, some software for this. It's, um, it's um, firmware. Oh, my Kershaw. This is, uh, I've had this since August 06. Okay, there she is. So I let this sit in for a few days in quarantine before I um, brought it in the house. This was shipped to my mother's house. It's actually um, a birthday present from her. My birthday is not until next month, but um, she ordered it because it was on sale and now that we're all on lockdown she says you might as well just come get it so I left it sitting over there for a few days and then I wiped everything down still got the film on it and everything okay here's how it looks with the wing on 
and I think it looks good guys I'm digging it this composite material looks really well it looks like it's um, fiber reinforced composite now the motor and the ESC are a little bit different than the description um, this motor looks a little bit smaller it's a 540 10 turn 300 kV specs competition brushless motor twin turbo maximum temperature 220 and this is not the 100 amp that it said it's a S10D RTR it looks like a 60 amp got a metal gear servo here it's probably 6 or 8 kg it does have a cat pack a small one that's cool these diffs these diffs uh, they seem oil filled or they have really good grease in them you can put sway bars here and you can put metal hinge pins if you need it it's got uh, dog bones in the back they look really nice and it's got universal axles right here in the front universal axles in the front and um, that, yeah, that servo seems, seems strong and uh, the front dips are also really good too they uh, they seem like they got oil filled or they're um, they're filled with um, some good grease now it's got an XT60 I'm probably gonna change that or make an adapter but um, as you can see the composite looks good it looks like it's a uh, fiber reinforced and um, I've um, it, it looks kind of like what's in my TRF 201 actually and people uh, jump these and run these all the time especially in Europe they sell the FTX brands really really popular and um, it's got these big bore shocks on it they seem pretty good these big bores here yeah they seem pretty good um, hey guys um, yeah this got metal diffs a nice servo saver um, we got the slipper clutch in there metal drive shaft uh, metal motor mount that's uh, mod 6 gearing um, it's nice you can get a bunch of parts for this and Intergy sells a bunch of parts as well so no issue with that I mean $97 you get a brushless buggy with a fly sky GT3B you can't beat it I like the looks of this too I like this body it looks really good And um, you could probably just Velcro this body. Yeah, this, this body could just be Velcroed here, and you wouldn't have to use um, body clips. And like I said, it's got droop, droop screws front and the rear to adjust the, the droop or the height, and the, the big bore shocks. Yeah, um, it, this is cool. This is really, really cool. I'm digging it, guys. So um, I'm going to change that connector or make an adapter because the only um, XT60 batteries I have are the little small ones for my, for my, um, my Basher Hellseeker and they're 2S. So I'm going to run this on 3S for sure and um, see how it goes. Hi right, guys, this is the Intigy i10B 4x4 Performance Buggy Brushless. Check out Intigy's website. They got a lot of cool things. They got a lot of cool hop ups and they got they got um, RCs for great prices. Anyway, guys, I hope you have a good one. I hope everyone is staying safe and healthy, and God bless you all. Peace.